I'm now at the top of One Tree Hill in Auckland on a rather breezy day. Well, let's take a look at the view. Isn't it awesome? The sea over here, the city spread out in front of us, and look in the distance, the mountains. I wonder how mountains are made. Out of ice, by the lava, with the rock, asteroids. By all the rain and trees. By gold when the when the world got made. By mud. Ice. <laughs> By grass. With ice cream. Dirt falling down. The stones get stuck together. Ice. Out of big whales. With grass and dirt. <laughs> this is a tricky one. Hmm. Maybe they appear overnight. Like when you bump your head and in the morning a huge lump has appeared. Or maybe, maybe there are salespeople that go around selling mountains. Yeah, get your mountains here. We've got new and used brand spanking new mountains. Best deals in town. Imagine the size of the truck they'd need to cart a mountain around. <laughs> mountains. Well, this is interesting. It's a recipe book on how to make mountains. Let's give it a go. Did you know one day America is going to collide with Asia? What a crash that'll be. Well, the map of the world is constantly changing and that's because of plate tectonics. Imagine this is the Earth. Its surface is made up of layers. They curve around the Earth's surface. Six big, big slabs and a whole lot of smaller slabs. And they all fit together a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. Those layers can be up to a hundred kilometers thick. That's downwards. Great big, thick slabs, a hundred kilometers deep. And they're made up of two layers. There's an outer crust and a mantle. The mantle is so hot that some of that rock melts and becomes runny and it enables the plates to move. Well, let me show you. Imagine this is the crust. Just a piece of toast, crusty piece of toast. And the mantle is this smooth peanut butter. Now, the crusty bit is on the outside, so we need to flip this over. And my hand can be the earth. Mm. Now, because the mantle is not completely solid, it allows the plates to move around like this. Whatever you do, don't try this at home. Leave it to the professionals. Oh, lovely. Apparently, there are three main ways to make a mountain. Well, let's start with the first recipe. It's for fold mountains. Now, what do we need? Two portions of earth crust and a rolling pin. Okay. Yep. Nice and easy. You take the portions of Earth's crust and roll them flat. These will make up the layers of rock oh, and dirt that form the Earth crust. That will do for layer number one and layer number two. That should be fine. Now, they sit together like this and you push from either side just as the plates fold together like this. As the plates move, they fold the layers to form peaks. Like so. <sighs> hey, I'm strong enough to make a mountain. This is how you make a fold mountain. The Southern Alps are fold mountains. Next on the menu are block mountains. 
Okay. We prepare the rock layers the same as before, rolling them out flat to create plates, about the right size, and another one the same. These layers sit on top of each other like this. And instead of being pushed together, like for the fold mountains, these rocks are separated. Block mountains are caused by the crust separating at a rift zone or a fault line. These sides are pushed up like that to form mountains with a valley in the middle. Block mountains. I hope you're ready for dessert because I've just found the recipe for volcanic mountains. And this looks like it's gonna be a goodie. Volcanoes usually form cone-shaped mountains. And when the magma bursts from the top, it erupts out and spills down the side of the mountains in oozing, steaming, hot lava. When that lava cools, it becomes solid, solid rock. Now it just so happens I have a cone mountain here that I prepared earlier. And even more, it's about to erupt. Look at it, the magma will burst from the top and stream down the side, gushing hot, hot lava, forming a brand new mountain. And most of the mountains in the Auckland area were formed this way, only with magma not mashed potato. I'd just like it known that I, Susie Cato, am strong enough to make mountains <laughs> out of Play-Doh and mashed potato. Mm. But let's have a look at those three recipes. We started with the Southern Alp style mountains. These were fold mountains. We took two layers of the Earth's crust and we pushed them together push them like the plates moving on the earth until they formed this fold mountain here. Now, the block mountain was somewhat easier. Two layers of the earth's crust again at a fault line or a rift zone and the plates rose up, pushed up like this to form mountains with a valley in between. And now our favorite. I know you like these ones. Volcanic mountains. That hot magma burst from the top of the mountain, spilt down the side and formed a brand new mountain. Piping hot lava formed into solid, solid rock. Mm. Good enough to eat. Maybe not. Have a look at the mountains around where you live. Maybe draw them, and then get some friends or your classmates to try and guess which recipe you'd use to make them. You could head to your public library if you'd like some more information, or head to my website. I'm at www.suzy.co.nz. And I'd love to get an email from you too. Let me know how you're getting on with these experiments. Now, thanks for joining me. I'll see you again soon. Kakite. Oh, to cool and solidify into solid rock. No idea what we were doing after that. <laughs> hey, Mum and Dad, thanks for paying your broadcasting fee.